I'm now joined by Mike Palmer, CEO at Sigma Computing. Mike, great to have you back on the program today. Absolute pleasure to be here again. Sigma redefines business intelligence by enabling instant in-depth data analysis on billions of records through an intuitive spreadsheet interface. How is the team continuing to innovate? And from your seat as CEO, what are you seeing? Well, continue to innovate is, is starts with Snowflake, obviously. I, there are so many new uh, features and capabilities coming out with Snowflake. We've heard a lot about AI, of course, at the conference. Uh, Cortex in particular. Uh, these are just opportunities to enable end users uh, who I think for the longest time were somewhat excluded from the technology revolution. Technology too often has been for the technologists. Uh, that gives us a great opportunity to bring these capabilities to them. Uh, so we think a lot about uh, the finance user, the inventory person, like how is uh, AI going to impact them? Uh, how is large data going to help them make a better decision? How do we make these cloud pivots like to Snowflake uh, more of a, a self-service opportunity rather than an infrastructure change? Uh, so you know, you're giving us the basis for, for the innovation, we just take it to the end user. Great to hear, Mike. I want to explore some recent news coming out of Sigma with your Series D funding. Congratulations. Thanks. How does this position your business for the years to come? Well, first of all, funding is the lifeblood of growing a business. Uh, if, you, if you, I know you have, but for those that haven't, you know, uh, it's expensive. Uh, it's not just expensive to build a great product, uh, but it's expensive to build out sales teams and, and take your products globally as, as Snowflake already has. Uh, so number one, it just allows us to continue to grow quickly. Uh, and that, uh, we're lucky enough to be able to say that we're doing that. Uh, secondly, it helps us just invest more in the product itself, right? right? And that's where the long-term leverage is. Uh, when we see uh, the opportunities, whether it's a vertical opportunity or the new feature coming out with Snowflake, you know, our goal is to be the first to the market uh, to address that value proposition for a customer. We're strong believers that first tends to win biggest over the long term. Uh, so this is all just an opportunity to make sure that, that we're able to accomplish that. Of course, Snowflake was a big participant in that round that just continues to bring us close together. Uh, uh, both in the product and planning process, but of course in go-to-market as well. So we're we're very lucky. It's a tough climate. It's a testament, I think, to a, a great product and customer support for what we're doing. Great to hear. And congratulations again. The excitement is, is all around us here at Snowflake Summit. The buzz is continuing to build. Mike, from your perspective, what's top of mind during your time here at Snowflake Summit? Well, number one, this is an opportunity to get your brand uh, awareness up, if you will, right? This is a, clearly a passionate group of people that, that spend their time and money to, to come out to San Francisco and uh, learn more about Snowflake as a product and those of us that uh, complement Snowflake. Uh, so brand awareness is going to be top of our agenda. Uh, we've done a lot of sessions with you and with uh, other, our customers, actually, our joint customers. So education is a second major goal, uh, what's possible. Uh, when customers hear from other customers, I think it just raises the credibility level. I think the authenticity is there, the things that work, the things that were more challenging. Uh, so we want to make sure to you know, uh, tell the Sigma story through the voice of customers to the greatest extent possible. Uh, and then of course, it's just us learning. You know, we see not, uh, not just a lot from other partners of, of Snowflakes, but we also go to the same sessions, we hear from customers what their challenges are, what their opportunities are. So it's a great learning opportunity for Sigma as well. And that's very much the power of that broader AI data cloud ecosystem. And, and, that is, and it's moving so quickly right now. You know, a lot of what we're hearing about uh, in the announcements today were things that were made real in Snowflake just a couple of months ago. So it's, it's hard to keep up. And I have to say, I was at the booth earlier today. Great buzz, and congratulations to the broader team. I have to ask before we go, what's next for Sigma, and how can the audience learn more? Well, one of the things is one you just mentioned, right? Uh, we, we know we have a great product in terms of uh, an interface that's accessible to the common user. We do great with uh, scale and performance and security and all these things that large enterprises in particular really care about. How they're going to adopt AI over the long term uh, is top of mind for us. Uh, we think there are going to be some of the same challenges that uh, customers experienced when they were adopting cloud. You know, how am I going to govern security? How am I going to uh, understand the quality of the output from these models? How am I going to provide the best access uh, to these models? These are the kind of the sort of foundational level things that Sigma can help with. So we're going to lean in obviously very heavily uh, into, into the AI world alongside Snowflake and hopefully grow right alongside you as well. Well, Mike, always a pleasure having you on the program. Glad to be here. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.